Okay, everybody, we're back with another video today. Today, we're making sweet potato pies. Here, we have our sweet potatoes. I did four sweet potatoes in the oven on 375 for about an hour, 15 minutes. Just until they're soft enough for you to stick a fork through, like so. See? We have our three eggs, a stick of softened butter, half a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, our carnation milk. We're gonna use this whole can of, carn of um, evaporated milk. Cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, whole milk, brown sugar. Here are our pie crusts. And you're gonna need a little salt. Okay, we have our sweet potatoes here. Okay, my hands are clean. Um, I told you all I baked these in the oven on 375. On 375 for about an hour, 15 minutes. So now I'm taking the skin. At that stage, what you do, what I did, bake them. Your skin should just be able to, you should just be able to peel it off like so. Okay. Like this. And just peel it right off. I like that right there. Just keep peeling. Now I'm gonna finish peeling the rest of these and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Here are our sweet potatoes, all peeled. Um, I'm just taking this fork and mashing them up a little bit, like this. Just to break them apart a little bit. Now, if your potatoes are still warm, mine aren't because they're cool a little bit. You, at this time, add in your softened butter a stick of softened butter. Add that in. Just take it. I'm still using my fork. I'm, using, I'm not using my um, blender yet. You can do this with your fork. You'll go ahead and finish melting the rest of that butter up. If your potatoes are still warm. Oh yeah, 
have the cereal. Okay. Now, now that we have it like that, I'm about to add in my two cups of white sugar. Add that in. All that. Now we're gonna blend together our sweet potatoes, butter, and sugar. <clears throat> To this we're gonna add in our we can add in our milk there's no particular order that I do it I just do it so with this this is our evaporated milk you can get pet milk carnation milk or dollar store milk like this I put half of it in with our eggs so what we do right now is gonna put the rest of this in there and don't forget, we're just gonna put it in there. We still have our whole milk as well that we can add in, okay? And also, see, I'm gonna add in a little bit of our flour. I'm gonna put all of it in this one here. Add in our flour. See that? Now trust, it's, by the time we get done blending, blending all the same, it's like a little chunky. Now, I'm gonna add in my egg with the, the evaporated milk. Now people tell you, don't eat raw egg. But it really don't bother me, knowing, I mean, with you, when you think about eating raw egg, just by itself, I mixed it with some milk though. I'm gonna blend this. I like to blend my stuff the same because everything in the egg is well incorporated. Everything gets in the egg and I'm in it first, okay? Now you do yours, how you do yours, I do that, I do that, I do that, I do that. I'll show y'all. I'll probably put a tablespoon in there. And a half. But the thing about it is, making stuff like this, you can always go back and uh, test, taste it. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Sit in there. I don't, I don't do much. We just put enough in there for you. I can't tell you how much we can just gonna taste. If we fuck, we need some, we add. If we don't need none, you don't add. And this is our nutmeg. We ain't gonna need much of this. Sometimes I make it without nutmeg, because I mean, you just don't really need it. See, just a tad bit, that's it. That nutmeg will take over everything in your mix. Okay, now, I'm trying to see. I'll blend it up. 
Cause I'm gonna show y'all a trick. I'm not really a trick, just show y'all how to do mine. Cause I'm like a stringy, see what's the path. I'm gonna get a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I ain't this in my hand. That way I gotta keep getting a different spoon. That tastes pretty good right there. Mmm, I pinch of salt. And that's gonna help bring everything together. Okay. I got my brown sugar. I already got a tablespoon of my brown sugar. That's because I like the taste that it gives. The extra. Mm. Brown sugar, baby, black gold, or something. This will give a little bit of that in there. I love my brown sugar now. As a matter of fact, it might be a little clumpy. Yeah, I need two tablespoons of last. Because I like it. Mmm. <gasps> Look at my cinnamon in there. I like to taste good. But now we're taking over. A little bit more vanilla. This recipe is usually for three sweet potatoes, but me. I had four on hand today, so I did all of them. A little bit more milk. So I had a cup of milk, so I'm gonna do half a cup of whole milk. And then it, after we get done blending, first let me scrape the sides. Really, really, really quick. Make sure everything well mixed in there. If I can just mix this like this, the next thing we're gonna do, we can go in here and get all these strings let that pack. I'm gonna get everything up off this side though. Now, if we need to add, what are we going to need to add up now? Okay. Sit that there. Now, what we need to go into doing is getting our strings. Now, you see these strings all up on there? Don't know what they pass. So, what I'm going to do is go back in here again. These strings are going to rip them off. See, they still got those strings, some big strings and everything on it. I'm gonna take these and rinse them. We're gonna do this about four times to ensure that we get the majority of the strings out. One thing you don't want is a stringish, stringish two pack pack. Nothing about my fit. To me, I never had a string two pack pack. Cause I'm guessing the people that cook it that I had do the same thing that I do. I just don't want to deal with the string. I mean, I don't want to do that. And this recipe is just a recipe that, just a recipe that I made up. Well, I tried other people's recipe. I tried recipe, I tried recipe with canned yams, bruised canned, bruised yams. Now I said, okay, well, I'm just gonna start doing fresh ones and baking them all and then make my pie. And I found this food to be the best way all my, my, my recipes are simple, very simple recipes. So now I'm gonna go back in with this and blend it. I'm gonna do it about three more times and take the strings off, okay? Yeah, I can just see them while I... Each time 
we do, we should have less and less strings. See, now I barely got strings on here on this one. But I'm still gonna do it about maybe one more time. Just, just to ensure that we don't, okay? Like I said, you can do this. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Just to give you the better flavor to me. Not stringy. Nice and smooth the way you want it to be. Now I love some potato pie. I can eat some potato pie in the morning for breakfast with some milk or something. Yeah, I like milk. <sighs> A lot of people I know they don't like regular white milk. I do. I really do. I can, uh, yeah, eat this in the breakfast. It's cold, cold, cold. It's good, warm. I like mine cold too. Also, at this stage, of, if or if not, if not before, you should have your oven preheated to 350, waiting for the pies. And your oven needs to be preheated. That way, you can put them in there, it goes. Okay. <laughs> Strings. So I'm gonna have to do it three times this batch. It just depends on what time of year you get your sweet potatoes and where you get them from. Us. It's really good. Anyway, let me show you. This is how I mix Shawanda up looking, and I'm gonna go back and tell you what exactly I did use. Okay. Taste it again because you know I want to. <laughs> okay. This is my hair, my beans. I do what I want to. If I feel like tasting it, I taste it. Okay. Let me do it again. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Enough of everything. Mm. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, ooh, this is so good right there. I have, oh, let's see what I put in there. One more time so y'all can know. I'll put in um, a stick of, salt, of softened butter, two cups sugar, half cup of flour, a whole can of carnation milk, three eggs, a half cup of whole milk, vanilla, cinnamon, Nutmeg, pinch of salt, and two and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, brown sugar is optional. You don't have to do that. Brown sugar is optional. But now, from that recipe I just gave you, yo, so we had a pot. Feeling should look like, voila. There you go. Quick, simple, and fast, and easy. Now, I don't have any pies. It's gonna make I got four pie shells here. It might make all four, and then it might just make three. We're gonna find out here soon. I'll bring you back when I get ready to put them into the shells. Okay, we're back with our pie shells. These are just the, the traditional pie shells. I let these sit out. By the whole time I was making these, I let these sit out and uh, give a little room temp. They were just like dough, and we were froze and all that. That way, our dough can cook evenly as well. We'll take our mix. I don't remember being too even. Y'all know we might get four pies right here. So yeah. I'm just gonna put it in there. Don't feel it too much. These do rise a little bit in the stove. But they come in, but they sink back in when you take them out, so. Okay. Now all these pies might not even stay here in my house because I might give some away. So I usually bake around this time. I use my sweet potato pies for other people. For the holidays, you know. Just something kind of let people know that you're thinking about them. You know, people who kids don't come see them and stuff like that. Just do something nice, a nice gesture for somebody. 
This is the season to be thankful. You know, some people might not even have a big family or have, you know, family that come see them or anything. You can just bake these up and this is how they look. You can just bake these up and take two. Now, my family, we do a big Thanksgiving dinner where a lot of my family get together in one place, you know. Have family come in from um, in town. And we all just get together. It's like 40, 50, 60 people. And we all just be together that day. Everybody brings a dish. I usually bring ham, a baked ham, but you all will be getting that recipe here soon. And this is full, I'm gonna put this back on there. But yeah. I usually bake a ham and take it. I've been doing there for about the past three or four years. Then we've been doing it. Okay. These are here. I should have skipped these in the freezer. They have a. They may not. Okay. I was going to say, these are here might not do right now. You feel the hole back in. You ain't got to be perfect because, I mean, truth. They ain't looking at how cute they're just gonna try to eat it up. Okay. So fill these um fill these two up. I can do it on camera, so fill these two up. Meet all these baked in the oven on 350 for about 45 minutes, you know. But thing is, watch, because you want this crust to be done. If not, you always add time. You want your crust to be done. That's the main thing. This filling is going to be done. If that 45 minute mark, the filling should be done. But you can do an extra, five, extra 15 minutes on 375, which is what I usually do. I do 350 for 45. So these are on the bake actually in the oven for about an hour. Then at the, after the 45 minute mark, 15 minutes period on 375 minutes. And for me, they usually finish baking my uh, crust off. Now, I will let you know to confirm. Because I really don't, I just do it. So, now, I have to let you guys know what to do and how to do it. So, I will keep track of it. Because for me, it's just something I just usually do. Because I know how I make myself to look and taste and everything. It's something I do. So, yeah, we can make four pies here today. Four sweet potato pies for your table. And today is Tuesday. Thanksgiving week, so I'm gonna get, get these done out the way. Cause I'll be quite busy tomorrow doing other things. So, even it out a little bit. Okay, I like to do mine like that. Just like what I do with my cake, which I will show you my cakes, maybe. I'm doing two. So, I'm gonna show you all one cake. Recipe that I'm doing. Okay. Clean it out. Now I'm going to put these into the 350 degrees oven. And when next time you see these, they will be done. Okay? See you then. Okay, everyone. We're back. The pies are done. They're cooled off. And I'm going to get ready to. Let me show you. I already had a piece of one. Look at that. It's just beautiful, ain't it? I think it could be another piece. As soon as I had to get some, it was so good. I'm gonna get another piece. And I also want to show y'all. Hold on. Get some. <coughs> I also want to show you the bottom crisp. Now I put this, I put it on three. Let's see that. I put it on 375 for this whole time. 375 is the right temp for about an hour, 10 minutes ish. See that? Now I'm gonna show y'all this. Bottom crust. See that? Done. Everything is nice and done. No raw crust. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. I hope you all make this for your family. It's Thanksgiving. 
and enjoy it with your family. It was quick, easy, super recipe. They have given you today. I'll link you up for watching this video. And as always, have a good night. Bye.